Neymar returns to Barcelona. Guardiola threatens FIFA with a rebellion. Incredible transfer of Lamine Yamal. All of this and more in today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome to our roundup of the top football news. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you've already subscribed, let's get started. Barcelona is actively working to bring back their former star, Neymar, as reported by the Spanish publication Sport.es. The president of the Catalan club, Joan Laporta, is simply dreaming of bringing the superstar after the opening of the new Camp Nou. The Brazilian's current contract with Al Hilal expires in the summer of 2025, so as early as January, Barca plans to sign a preliminary agreement with him for a free transfer. Neymar should not demand too high a salary, as in two seasons in Saudi Arabia, he has replenished his account with 320 million euros. Ney has never publicly rejected the possibility of returning to Barca. In addition, he needs to get in the best possible shape to perform at the 2026 World Cup. Perhaps at 34, this will be Neymar's last chance to win the World Cup. The Brazilian is a short-term goal for Barcelona, but there is also a long-term one. Laporta is waiting for the opportunity to lure Erling Haaland when his contract with Man City also comes to an end, and Josep Guardiola may no longer be at the Etihad. Neymar is currently the most expensive acquisition in the history of football for PSG. In 2017, they bought the Brazilian from Barcelona for 222 million euros, but this summer, this record could have been broken by the same PSG. As the publication Mundo Deportivo reports, the French giant in the summer of 2024 offered the Catalan Barcelona 250 million euros for the Spanish winger Lamine Yamal. As you can guess, the Blaugrana refused to let go of the 17-year-old wunderkind, and he stayed at the club. If the transfer had taken place, this signing would have become a record in the history of football in terms of transfer fee. The transfer marked portal estimates his value at 120 million euros. French Juventus midfielder Paul Pogba was disqualified in September 2023 for doping for four years. The Frenchman did not give up and tried to prove his innocence and eventually won a partial appeal. KS reduced Paul Pogba's doping ban from four years to 18 months. The Frenchman will be able to resume training with Juventus in January and he will have a chance to play in March. Finally, this nightmare is over. I can't wait for the day when I can chase my dream again. It was a very difficult period because everything I worked so hard for was put on hold. Thank you again for your love and support. I can't wait to get back on the field, said Pogba. Paul was once one of the best midfielders in the world. He is now 31 years old and we'll see if he can successfully restart his career. Real Madrid legend Sergio Ramos may sign a contract with Juventus, according to information portals Tuto Sport and Goal. The Turin-based club has lost their defender Bremer for a long time, who has a cruciate ligament rupture and is urgently looking for a replacement. Since the transfer window is closed, the Italian club is considering candidates among free agents, and Sergio Ramos, who has a lot of experience playing at the top level, stands out qualitatively against this background. The 38-year-old former captain of Real Madrid, despite despite his age, is still able to strengthen Thiago Motta's team in the current situation. From June to July 2025, a revolutionary club world championship will be held in the United States, in which as many as 32 teams will participate. Manchester City and other leading European clubs have received a serious additional load after an already exhausting season. However, FIFA has stipulated in the rules that participants are obliged to field their strongest squads with the main stars. This point greatly angered Guardiola, and he is not going to obey the demands of football officials in terms of squad selection. And which players are the strongest? Which ones? Will FIFA tell me which players are stronger than others? I don't understand this. We will go there with the whole squad. We are not going for one game, right? So I don't know who will be the most ready at a certain moment. We are not going with 11 players. We are going with the whole squad. I don't understand how to choose one player who is stronger than others. For me, the strongest means in shape. Maybe the strongest for them is now in a very, very bad condition. For many reasons. Personal, physical, injuries, some other little things so we are going to play with others. They won't tell me before the match which players have to go out. I decide myself, that's for sure, said Guardiola. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Keep watching for more football action and have a wonderful day.